You need to do 10 pull-ups to achieve a muscle-up. Bullshit, bro. It's a matter of technique, not only strength. Back in 2014, I've got mine when I could do 7 pull-ups at most. And with the knowledge I have today, I am willing to wager my soul and push the bare minimum requirement to only 5 pull-ups. Look, muscle-ups are one of the most astounding skills within the realms of human endeavor. They are an amazing compound movement that works your coordination as well as your back, your biceps, your triceps and your chest. You can do them almost anywhere and heads will turn, I swear. In this video, I'll share with you the technique and 4 actionable steps as well as a secret tip so you can get your first muscle up. So sit tight and let us reach new heights. Contrary to what you see online, muscle ups are first learned by cheating. Yes, that's right, cheating. So your brain and muscles get used to work in a different way. And I don't mean the kind of cheating where you do your muscle up by going one arm after the other over the bar. That is so wrong. But we're not going to try clean muscle up either. That's too advanced. We're rather going to do C-shaped muscle up, also known as swing muscle ups or even Olympic muscle ups. So first, forget about trying to go upward and over the bar. It is not going to work out unless you're good at calisthenics. From now on, I swear to God, you have to see yourself as a swing that goes first forward and then backward and so high backward that you actually go over the bar and that's it that's the technique to get your c-shaped muscle up you have to follow these steps the first step is to attack the bar and thrust your body far you either have to run to the bar and generate forward momentum that will transfer into backward speed or simply unleash your feet and your legs forward just like if you were on a swing on a kid's playground the second step is to elevate your knees to high socket height. Your body will go ahead from the first step and this is where your backward momentum will begin. Yeah, and now you need to amplify that momentum by literally trying to hit yourself with your knees into your eyes socket. Which fits perfectly by the way. The more vigorously you do this step, the faster you will go and the better it is for your muscle up. The third step is to only initiate your pull up at the end of your backward swing. You absolutely have to wait until you've reached peak height from the first two steps before pulling yourself upward. Else, you are neglecting the importance of the first few steps. The fourth and final step is to row yourself forward because you are already so high up. If you combine all of these steps that fits perfectly together, the only thing you'll need to do is to get yourself closer to the bar by rowing yourself to it. From there, had the dip and you've got it, your first muscle up. And now for the secret tip that is damn effective. Once your pride is on the line, you're stronger. So therefore, the only thing you have to do to trigger this is to try it shirtless. Trust me, it fucking works. If you try these steps and still can't get it, you can take the time to build more explosive power with your pull-ups by doing scapular pull-ups and of course, more pull-ups. Once some gains are made, revisit the technique and the steps and you'll surely get it this time. Screw trying to do a clean muscle-up. Your learning curve starts at the C-shaped muscle-up. To get it, imagine yourself as a swing, go forward first then backward and try to hit yourself with your knees in your high sockets. Then do a pull up at peak height and roll yourself ahead. It is easy as that. Hey bros, I've got something for you. If you ever want to know the strengths and the weaknesses of your physique, then click in the free physique review in the description box down below. The link will get you to a Google form that you have to fill in. I will then email you where I review your physique to guide your way forward. This was Nick Lab. Here we never peek because the best is yet to come. Peace out.